all on. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring some of that loyalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell your league. So, y'all, listen. <sighs> it's a lot that is going on here that we need to um, speak about, but uh, the way it's being portrayed... Y'all, it's so simple to call somebody. I ain't gonna cap. But let's just go ahead and watch this and see what's going on with the going on. You know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah. Gang, what's good, man? It's your boy CJ on 32s. And I'm back with another video, man. And uh, if y'all don't know what's going on, um, what's going around the internet right now, uh, we're gonna clear the air on some things, guys. I already know y'all ready to get into the car content, but. Um, we got to clear up these rumors right here because um, they're a little bit different. And, you know, I guess a lot of the T pages um, took what happened and, and just ran with it without really, like, knowing the facts. I actually made a live, got on the live. People screen recorded that live and got that live up. So y'all already know, man, I live down here in Texas. Um, you know, make them run the club, thrive. On a Saturday, had no idea royalty was down here. Um, had no idea it was her birthday. I don't know, shit, I barely remember my birthday. So, had no clue, no hint, no nothing. My section's booked every Saturday at Thrive. So, we in the same spot. If you go on my Instagrams, you watch the reels. I'm, we checking out from Thrive uh, Nightclub. Big didn't know royalty was coming to uh, Thrive Nightclub. And you know he get all the paperwork of the seating. So, they actually booked the section under a fake name when they got the section but uh so you know everything's going around saying cj so cool friends hangs out with royalty like royalty didn't come to dallas to hang out with us royalty is with her friends for her birthday and they booked the section at the club that we was at so cj is such a bait hoe like basically when you when a t-page put out CJ on 32s was at the mall with royalty. They had showed royalty at Chick-fil-A and CJ so CJ on 32s at Chipotle. CJ would absolutely believe that they was together but was sitting separate because of a camera. All right. He ain't the type to just call you. He got to go with what niggas say who he don't even know. Actually, like Bake's wife, Bake's girl, we in our section, y'all already know, doing our thing, 32 Gang. Um, me and Bake actually went to the DJ booth, and he was like, royalty here, it's her birthday. So I had bought nine bottles. I popped nine bottles for, her. you know, the 32 Gang section. We had like 23, 22 girls in our section, so we was lit. Plus, we know we ain't going to be in town next weekend, so I wanted to go hard, and we just wanted to have fun. Shit, we also got like 32 bottles of water. But, yeah, with that being said... Um, you know, this man's baby mama is over there with royalty. So it's, it was more out of a respect thing. We went over there with a bottle. Like, we had so much alcohol. We went over there with a bottle. Bake gave her the bottle. We told her happy birthday. Oh, Bake's baby mama was over there with royalty. So Bake got up. Bake's baby mama got up with royalty. That's why they asses ended up at Thrive. And CJ... So cool, no damn well, he ain't stopping no women from chilling. Why the fuck would them niggas be like, hell no, nah, you can't talk to her? Like, that's not how that go. You, I fall out with you, all right. My girl can't kick it with you, she can kick it with your girl. I'm just letting y'all know the type of nigga I am. <laughs> but my point is, you're not stopping a woman from hanging out with her friend, though. You know what I'm saying? Her friend that she met in the situation, but continue. She actually recorded it. And tagged us in our story. And, you know, it kind of started an uproar, but that was it. We didn't go over there on no messy shit or, you know, no disrespectful shit. Because it just would have been weird. Like, you got to understand, 
before last year. Last year was my first birthday in like three to four years that I didn't spend out there with uh, CJ and royalty. Last year, last year I think we all went to Miami for royalty birthday. Bake, you did. CJ, all of us. So it's kind of yeah, like, you know, that's family. So, you know, whatever uh, CJ and royalty are going on well, with their kids and their situation, guys, I ain't going to even lie to y'all. Like, I don't even watch that shit. Like, I don't even want to... You know what I'm saying? I don't even want to know what they got going on. What they got right. going on is is they business. But then, like you know, when you when you put it on social media, whatever you do, when you put on social media, you make it everybody else's business. You open the door for them to have opinions and uh, be judgmental in your life. But uh, I, I stay out of that of what they got going on. You know, so I, I look at both of them as family. Me personally, royalty never done nothing, nothing to you know, him. Nothing wrong to me. Nothing wrong to me. So it was like. You know, this, this, I have been to their crib. You know, I met CJ and Royalty pretty much together. So, you know, the first day I met CJ, I met Royalty. He was, she was with him. So, you know, these people invited me to their home. She done cooked for me. Uh, I done drove her truck, you know, been around their kids. So, you know, it was just more out of respect. I kind of would have felt focused. We would have just, you know, it, it's her birthday and we would have just not said nothing there. You know, like I said, Big Wife was there. In the what state. the hell he looked like sitting across the club? Acting weird to her <laughs> when she ain't did nothing to him. She ain't got nothing. He don't have nothing to do with royalty not letting him see his kids. Shit, if you ask me, I would rather CJ on 32s ask royalty, yo, you will let uh that nigga see his kid, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't on that nigga side like that, but I'm just saying. As a man, you know what I'm saying? I would want you know, something. But like, why you acting like CJ on 32s want royalty. That's crazy. With her too, so, you know, we Unless just he already felt like, like that. If like he already two, felt two like that, then that's different. Even if that, like two minutes, told her happy birthday, gave her a bottle, and uh, shit, we went back about our business and went back to our section. And he was over and, there with baby, baby mama. But now she it's like was. everybody want to blow it up. And, you know, everybody got fans that's choosing sides and shit. Like, I'm not choosing no sides. I'm just not into what they got going on. You know, it was just more of me being... Um, mature, uh, uh, showing appreciation for the shit that they did done for me, not just CJ, but also royalty. Because when they was together, that was they crib together. You know what okay. I'm saying? So um, CJ don't see it like that. It was that's his basically career. what happened. You know, all this CJ friends bogus, CJ friends bogus for partying with royalty. We wasn't not partying with royalty. If we was partying with royalty, she would have been in the 32 game section. We got our own motion. We got our own movement. We had our and own she shit had her own, own motion um, too. That we had planned, you know. Is that something we do every weekend? Everybody know where it's popping at on Saturdays down here in uh, Dallas. So you know, um, they she booked their spot there. We didn't know she was gonna be there. Didn't know she was in town. You know, I got my own shit going on. So Growing like I always man, tell people, I'm not, I'm not worried about what the, about fuck what the next women person got going on. Um, got going on. <laughs> my all. main page on Instagram, I follow zero people, and it's not being cocky or none of that. It's just like. In reality, I post my pictures, but I gotta. In order for me to stay focused, I can't be worrying about what somebody else got going on. You know, That's social media is just a way for people to try to bring you down That's a fact. and figure out everything that you got going on, or just say some negative shit. Like you, a lot of people don't be happy for you guys. So you know, you just you gotta eliminate as much as you can see, as much as you can hear. So you know, that's why I don't follow nobody on Instagram. Yeah, and I need to work on my follow list on Instagram, but um. I'm queen of the mutes. Yeah, I'm nah. You know what I'm saying? I don't like to bring attention to unfollowing. I think that that is absolutely... First of all, I don't give a damn if I follow you or not. You get what I'm saying? But some people's shit that you see ain't motivational. I mean, let's just talk about it. See, watch a CJ So Cool fall out with royalty over and over and over again. If I was their friends, I would tell them. Y'all, I'm that friend to be like, I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to, one, one, one in the chat. I'm just going to go ahead and unfollow both of y'all because this shit is toxic and I don't want to watch this shit. Like, I, I didn't line up to say, uh, I want to watch CJ and royalty fall out. I love y'all, nigga. Both of y'all. I don't want to see y'all fall out. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go ahead and uh, unfollow y'all and go on by my business. You know what I'm saying? I see y'all when I see y'all type shit. And that's okay. You know, but... Um, we're just going to address everything. We're going to address everything. Because I always be... On out, brother. People say that I, CJ used to be humble. I'm still humble, man. It's just like... When you just Don't take the humble away from that, so man. People try to paint this 
fucked up picture about you is like when is enough enough like you can you can actually speak up and defend yourself you know what i'm saying you can have that mindset of i don't give a fuck about this or that sometimes man you just gotta you know you just gotta open up and um speak for yourself speak up for yourself you know i'll I be letting a lot of shit just fly by you know and uh, i don't really say nothing to it but i'm still humble you know but i ain't finna just let keep letting people try to treat me or talk to me any kind of way you don't know what i'm saying people, people get on social media and feel like they own you like you don't fucking own me and then it's like they try to say slick shit like cj is so cool put you on youtube yeah he did he, he he opened that door for me just like jinx opened that door for him don't y'all forget who opened that door for him oh so uh <laughs> well he said you no know, he did well. but it cj so cool ain't like, guided me or led me six years to do what i do it's my hustle it's my motivation i was doing cars before i met cj so cool that's kind of what brought us together because i've been brought him together because he brought a car from cj on 32s let's not forget that in the car scene been doing the car stuff and uh, he actually wanted to buy one of my cars. He seen one, he freaked out, and that's what really uh, built our relationship. Even if though, if you ask me, he didn't put him on. He bought a car. Then he 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 wanted to be cool with the nigga. Then he decided to help him. CJ overextended his damn hand. We've been around each other before that, but that's really what built the relationship. Me sticking to what I stick to, doing my cars and shit, and uh, my car content is what got me to where I'm at today. You know, I, I kept grinding. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and just stuck with it. You know, like nice. I said before, ain't nobody here holding my camera or calling me, telling me uh, this or that. A lot of shit about YouTube, I learned myself. Huh? Oh, okay. Oh, man, it just was trial and error. And I'm just one person that uh, he told to get on YouTube that didn't give up, you know? And uh, I'm gonna always be thankful and grateful for that but i ain't gonna kiss nobody ass bro like ain't no he didn't put him on i don't feel like no man you know what i'm saying above me like you know like ain't nobody got you know like if if cj put me on and i wasn't recording and i stopped hustling then it wouldn't be you know no videos or me going up you know i always appreciate bro i'm always be uh thankful bro you know a lot of people got put on by somebody or got put in a position a i don't even say put on got put in a position put in a to position. win i've helped uh plenty of people too but yeah bro bro did a lot for me you know and, and in the beginning you know when i was starting off he was up and shit, he did pay for everything it just wasn't for me it was for everybody that was coming out and everybody around but I always had i wasn't where i'm at today but I always had a little bread so you know I always thank bro and be and uh been thankful um as far it was like a video it was a video we're gonna we're gonna address this too since we talk we're just gonna keep it real man we're just gonna get this video out oh, so i don't have shit. to come back to this so it was a video i never watched the video multiple people told me about the video i i think even somebody made some reaction to the video uh saying if cj so cool sneak this cj on 32s or something well he was basically saying that a whole bunch of shit y'all know how bro get when he just going off at the chatting. mouth he just be talking and not <laughs> just thinking be just chatting. like with that say cheese shit about saying i wish i never bought the cars from cj on 32s and all this shit um excuse me i didn't know he said that <laughs> okay. basically he was saying nobody helped him <laughs> nobody never did shit for him y'all gotta y'all gotta realize i've been up probably about two i've really been up up about two or three years now so I, I can hold my own weight with anything um but as far as him saying that in the videos you know what i'm saying once again i feel like i feel like you you trying to belittle your guys you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying like some shit ain't for the internet and so it's like you trying to belittle your guys when when you wasn't at your best a nigga was there for you a nigga don't say i don't know what them other niggas done ever did for you but i I've got everything, you know what I'm saying? I've helped you, and and I don't get on the internet or brag or never told nobody, but I kind of feel like you downplaying our character by, you know, when you say certain shit. So I don't know about them other niggas. I can't speak on them, but I definitely done helped you, bro. Definitely, since all this shit you've been going through, I've definitely done sent some shit your way. Ooh. CJ.
This is not good. And this ain't no cap, guys. Like, this is real talk. Uh, I, I gotta believe get on the internet and cap about it. shit. I ain't got to lie about shit. That nigga borrowed $1.8 million. $1.8 million from a damn company. Yeah, I believe you gave him some cheese. Like, it's just certain shit, guys. Like, you just can't be out here really trying to let nobody manipulate you and belittle you. Fuck that. I ain't going for none of that, bro. Yeah, he always gotta, tried a little boy, and nigga. You got me fucked so, up. <laughs> that being Real said, shit. like, I've I've helped, bro. You know, um, bro helped me. Bro bought me shit, and I've helped, bro. And, uh, you know, real niggas don't count favors. So it wasn't my duty to get on the internet and say anything. But it's... You don't never have to tell a person what you... I learned my lesson with that shit. Don't, you don't ever have to tell a person what the fuck you done did for them. And I try my best to not say it when I feel like, damn, I'm here for you. Why the fuck? You know? But you know what you did for a person, and God know what you did for a person. You know what I'm saying? Ultimately, they're going to feel it. And if they don't, well, it is what it is. But also, that's your fault, i.e. mine. For overextending my hand. You, you don't always have to overextend your hand. CJ overextended his hand to him. And now got a nigga feeling like, I got to thank you because you done overextended your hand to me. That's a fault that I've had. Overextending my hand to people and then wanting them to overextend their hand to me. That's not how that works. You know? It's like, you kind of, you, you shading your mans. You shading your guys. So it's like, I got I to gotta speak on what I've done. Because Especially people just take them. They hear one side. When you don't speak up, people hear one side of the story and they just take that side of the story and uh, make shit out to be what it's really not. So, you know, um, let's, let's just clear that up. So a bro, he can, bro can call me any time of the day, any any day and ask me for anything, I'm going to give it to him. And you will never hear about it. Um, another thing as far as, you know, uh, us not going out there. I can show y'all the taxes. As soon as that shit happened, like, Texas. bro, you want us to pull up? You want us to come out there? He said no. Asked him again. He said no. So what the fuck y'all want me to do? Just go out there and just be out there? And see, you got like three different types of niggas in this world. One that would have just pulled up because he know where he live. <laughs> Two, one that's just going to ask and then ask again. And then the third one, I just don't give a fuck. So, he gave a fuck, but he didn't give a fuck enough, and and because that would be overextending giving a fuck. But he didn't give a fuck enough to be like, all right, the nigga said he don't want me to come, but I know damn well that nigga want me to come, so I'm going. It's almost like CJ wanted him to be like, nah, I'm just telling the nigga not to come. But if he come anyway, he a real nigga type shit. I don't know, but um, I got shot. Yeah, I want my niggas to be beside me. Well, first of all, nigga, come to the crib with me. I'm still here. Anybody can come shoot this bitch up again. This nigga crazy, boy. <laughs> I even told him I'll fly bake out there. Just let me know. Whatever day, whatever time you want us to come, we coming. So, you know, that's why I haven't been out there. Because bro said no. So, like, I ain't finna, you know what I'm saying? I ain't the type, I ain't finna just be going out there. You know, it, it, I'm, I'm respecting what he said. Like, why, why would I just fly out there and pull up? Make it make sense, man. Like it don't make sense. If somebody telling you, no, nah, they good, don't come out here, that means shit. Res respect they boundaries. Don't come out there. But it ain't like a motherfucker didn't ask. A motherfucker asked the same day because I could have booked the flight the same day. You know, but in the beginning, it's like when all this shit happened, nobody knew who it was or what was going on. So basically, we were just flying out there into who knows what. A trap, right? But I definitely asked them. I got the taxes. I got the messages. The taxes. So motherfuckers not out here just bogus, man. I consider uh, CJ and, and royalty family and um, whatever they got going on, I stay out that shit. It's not, I don't do drama. I don't like that shit. I don't want to, I got enough problems of my own to be in somebody else's problems, guys. Okay. I got enough drama and shit going on in my own life to be worried about what somebody else got going on. For their kids' sake, I hope they can resolve, you know, their issues, their problems. You know, I feel like everybody go through shit in a relationship. But I feel like, honestly, I can say this because I actually know these people and a lot of people only know them through, you know, a screen. 
but I really know these people and it's like, I honestly feel like all relationships get toxic, but they kind of at their best when they was with each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, just to be honest from what I've seen and what I know, you know, everybody going to go through shit. Nah, hell nah. I disagree. Royalty is at her best without that nigga. Royalty, when she was with him, it was always some, oh, huh? You want me to say? Okay, my turn. <clears throat> what is <laughs> what is it that you want me to say? <laughs> nah, royalty done that that correcting her crown on her on her intro, fire. Facts. I think she's way better without the nigga. Now him, but, uh, he need her. Uh, yeah, they. I can't believe that man got a baby on the way by Lexi, y'all. I just can't believe that. They pretty much was at their best when they was together, you know, and I hope they can work out their differences. I ain't saying get back together, but they can work out their differences for their kids. They do got kids together. They got a family together. And when you've been with somebody for so long, guys, it's hard to just say F them, you know? Um, I still got love for my kids' mom, guys. Like, kind of like a lot of yeah, shit, man. Yeah, Lexi like death, Like, you... Unless they you really don't lying. get over a lot of stuff, but you learn how to deal with it. And right now, man, when, when, when you in that heat of the battle, y'all going through shit, it's a lot of anger there. It's a lot of hate. And you're going to do what you, you're going to do everything in your power to hurt that next person. You know what I'm saying? Because you hurt. I've been there. So I know. I know that feeling. Like, damn, she was somebody else. What can I do? I'm going to get back. And it's like y'all at each other next, y'all at each other throats, not even realizing that, you know, what y'all got going on affecting y'all kids. Like I was saying, it's like, man, you, sometimes we don't even realize when we trying to hurt each other that we we actually taking, you know, when you got kids with somebody, you actually, man, you, you actually effing them up. You know, especially when they old enough and they understand stuff and they see what's going on. So, you know, uh CJ on thirty two forty plus best to, He don't even look forty get. plus. But y'all gotta understand it and to get at peace with one another one another, man, because at the end of the day, ain't no shit, ain't no drama or money worth your family and keeping up uh like negative shit going to get views or whatever, man. I just wish them the best, you know. Like I said, I'm not uh I'm not judging royalty. I'm not judging CJ. I just stay out of other people's business, guys. Because like I said, I'm not perfect. I'm dealing with a lot of shit myself. I got a lot of man, shit going on. we all got on, our own shit going on. Other people's business just shit don't concern crazy. me. I just want to. Out here in these streets. Just to clear some shit up. You know what I'm saying? Because to me, I'm a pretty solid solid guy. You know, um, I would never, ever. Like, this is a certain shit, man. As a man, you know that's just off limits. But People say I would have gone out my way. If I would have been like, yo, I just want you to know royalty here. I had no fucking clue she was coming. If anybody filmed some shit, just know, nigga, I told you. Uh, you know, we better go handle a bottle out of respect. Boom. But CJ so fucking weird. He wouldn't even respect that, you know. And um, this is what I talk about over and extending my hand. Y'all, I know when drama coming, like, for some reason. I just know when, like, <laughs> God has kind of... Not kind of. He's blessed me with feeling energy. And you just know when something shifts. I do. When something shifts, you just you just know. And I would I would have known had I didn't say anything to him, it would have shifted. Granted, he might not have been thinking about him at all. And that's what I need to get around to, not giving a fuck in, in the first place. But some people wouldn't have done that. But I know it would have got recorded because royalty's in there. It would have got recorded. So it's like, let me just go ahead and put that shit out there because of how loyal I am. You know what I'm saying? I'm a loyal motherfucker, but, you know, shit crazy. Uh, like I said, it was just more of a respect thing, man. Like, y'all couldn't expect big wife to be there with her and we walk past her and ignore her. Like, she really Who the fuck about to ignore her? I'm a grown-ass you know man. I'm like, a grown-ass man. It was just happy birthday. She took the video. She, had, she added us, you know, and... um. That was that. We went back to our section and continued our night, continued doing what we do and what we do every uh, Saturday. Now, I can't speak and say 
what was royalty intentions. Like, she just looked happy. Like, she was enjoying her birthday. You know, and she was happy. If royalty would have hit CJ on 32s up and said, hey, I'm coming to Dallas and I'm going to be at Thrive, come fuck with a bitch, that would have been wrong in royalty situation because she knows that CJ on 32s loyalty lies with CJ so cool. So her reaching out to CJ on 32s would have been messy as hell. Now, seeing a bottle come, the nigga work at the club, da da da. I feel like she was just trying to flex, like, you know, it's my birthday, I got bottles, whatever. I feel like that's what she was doing specifically. Um, also, CJ don't even realize every time Royalty posts a video, he give her free promo. <laughs> I am standing behind Royalty. I'm happy she in this position. She, she look happy I when truly came am. over there. So, you know, um, that's that. Like, it ain't really no story to that. Man, I'm a grown ass man. Told why, why would I treat her bad? Whole thing she with bro getting to me. shot. Like, he was crazy. on the pull up. I know I was on the pull up. You know, she is so um, helping him, speaking on that because he spoke on it in his video. Um, what he saying? Definitely did that. So you know, uh, I, I try to stay away from. I try to wait, stay out of drama, guys. Like that shit ain't for me, man. I'm too old for that shit. I don't care about that shit. I'm out here, I'm out here living life, man, and. I'm still trying to figure shit out. Um, like I said before, when you put your business on the internet, you open a door. I for thought CJ on 32 was like 30. So it's like certain shit you got to deal with, but it's a different. Lexi was in the background talking lying, about it. What video like, was it? Put the link in the comments. And, and just say and do anything. Like it's, that shit is weird, bro. I could not sit on the internet. And spend my day or time concerned about what another person got going on in their life. Facts. That's 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 like the weirdest shit in the world to me, guys. Like when you watch somebody every day just to make a comment, negative comment or a, a video or anything about them. Like you really need to go look in the mirror and look at yourself. And like what the fuck do these people life and what they got going on? Benefit mine. He called Lexi a bitch and CJ responded. When did he when did he call Lexi that? In this video? It's weird, man. Social media is a it's a weird place. It's a cruel place too. Because one day you can have the people that support you will love you and the next day you do something, they will hate you. And that's oh, just God. real shit. That's a and fact. People will turn on you quick. I told y'all any I don't give a fuck what the situation is. I'm gonna tell everybody, believe it. And I'm going to go to the next reaction. <laughs> oh, God. I, swear to God. I don't even have an enemy any more to care about, you know. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Okay? Courage to change the things I can and wisdom to know the difference. Baby, I, you believe it. Because <laughs> people going to believe what they want to believe anyway. Real quick. So um, keep that in mind, guys, if you're trying to be a social media influencer and you're trying to get on here, anything you document and put on here, <laughs> be ready, especially them couple channels. I could never do that. CJ I mean, on 32 look like he he wouldn't even thought to text CJ. He probably like, nigga, I'll tell a nigga later or something. He ain't that deep. And y'all saying CJ, you should, hell no. The ladies already don't like that I be so real and um, raw and uncut when I'm with Brittany. I had somebody like pissed off because I kept it real with Brittany. She said, you're going to buy me a house. And I said, no, I'll buy my first baby buy my house before I buy you a house. Which is real. You know what I'm saying? I don't got no bad blood with the mother of my kids. Like, she, she, she deserve it. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, we got the boys. We got four kids together. Oh, so, yeah. I you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We went through a lot together. Just because we ain't together, shit, don't mean, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't going to be there. Four Shit, kids. I got a step from my family. You know what I I'm saying? I get that. And that's why I go hard, He man. doing it for his kids, though. It's hard, guys. It's hard. Uh, we, as man, too, we got to think, like, how hard it is for a woman, you know, for a single mom, too. You know, I know a single dad's out there, too, but if the kids is in a mom household, she got to work and she got to do shit. Like, man, she got to get these women credit. It's a lot of work. Man. I will say it wasn't needed. It wasn't needed. He would have pissed me off when he said it. 
He could have kept that one to himself. But, you know, we like to ask people to be real with us. Shit, he being real. Can't be mad at the truth. Us, a lot of I, I ask the kids to be real with me. They be real. I be like, God damn, but I ain't mean. Like, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't mean that real. <laughs> listen, listen. I didn't mean, like, you went as real as you could get. I was saying, just tell the truth about this. You, know? you kept it too real. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot. Of us guys <laughs> would, man, we'd lose our mind doing. So, you know, um, you got to give hella respect and love to a woman that's out there taking care of your kids and raising your kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you could be in a picture, but it's different, guys. Trust me. I've been out my house for what? Like four or five years, you know, I'm used to being with them, seeing the kids every day. So when I was there, but a single parent household is tough, man. It's kind of like shit. <laughs> you know, I keep it too real too. Tough. Even 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 having both Y'all parents in the house is tough, me. guys. Like don't get it twisted. Both parents being there is tough. I'll be but, like, yep. Yeah, I tip my head off to these mothers you out here to... that do got the kids, man. Nothing but salute, nothing but love, especially mine. You know what I'm saying? Because. Uh, I don't really talk about my personal life, but you know my my kids' mothers they hold shit down, and uh, for the most part they pretty. My they, kids' mothers, you got four with one baby mama, so that mean you got like this nigga probably got like eight kids. He little dirt to the situation in them. They pretty <laughs> solid, so you know they can have anything I got, and it's, it's much respect. You know, um, I don't feel like my I have been opening up to y'all, but I just don't feel like my channel is. Is about CJ on CJ and his, you know, his personal life. I mean, y'all get CJ on 32s. My personal life is me, Corey Jones. You know, like I don't feel the need to come to the internet to explain that to y'all. You know, um, I deal with a lot of my shit off camera, and a lot of shit that that gets said that I don't like, I don't even speak on it. You know, um, I just overlook a lot of shit, man. When you got a lot to lose, you got to overlook a lot of shit. Facts. And I just facts. I just like positive shit, man. I come from facts. A lot of negative shit. Well, you guys are the lose. Grow up as an Good adult, God. man. Anything negative just kill your vibe. It's like you just don't want to even be around that shit. You don't want to hear right. it. You don't want to deal with it. Like it's just mm -hmm. like toxic shit. Like you just don't even want to be around it. Like I want to be in a happy space. Um, At all. And in time. a happy place. That's it. You no, know, some people grow up. Some people don't. Who the fuck wants to be in drama all day? Who the fuck want to argue all day? You know. Um. Mm -hmm. uh, not me. Definitely not me. So, you know, I try to put myself in a place where I can find peace. You know, after all this social media and shit go, you know, guys, I like to be home. I like to be alone. I like to be by myself. I like to brainstorm after all that going out and all that shit. Like, I just do it just because it's not like something I have to do. At the end of the day, there really ain't no place like home, man. It's like where, where you find right. your peace. Everybody need peace. If you're around somebody or something that's making you unhappy, man, you need to get away from it. You Facts. need to take a break. Y'all need to figure it out. Facts. It's crazy. So many people. I'm glad we figured they it out. Like they life so perfect and they try to piece together other people's lives. Like, bro, you need to sit the fuck down and piece together your life. It's real shit. Like so, a lot of people follow these uh, T pages and just talk I shit about people. Keep it all the and way. I can guarantee you, not saying all <laughs> of them, but a lot of people' life is fucked up. A lot of people is experiencing the same thing that these people they watch on this on this screen. They experiencing the same shit, right. but yet they they'll let their anger out in the comment section and talk about somebody else's life. Man, I just I don't I don't follow negative shit. Like, if somebody's saying something about me, I don't care. I don't want to see that shit. Facts. Why, why would I ruin my day? That why? nigga, a little baby, uh, put in a song. He said, please don't get, please don't kill my vibe. I don't want to hear that. You know what I'm saying? Well, I know how to set some, I know how to shut some shit off. I'm Shut some shit off down, let it go. <laughs> For real. Because I don't need it to kill my vibe. It already killed it enough. I'm a thinker, you know, so. When shit bothering me, I think about it, and I think about it, and then that hurt turns into anger. I be a little upset. 
then I I don't care anymore. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't got time for that nigga. Watching shit. videos of negative shit about me. It don't make sense, guys. Um, you gotta live your life. Put your phones down. Sometimes, man. Go out. It's 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 a whole lot of fucking living out there, and um, a lot of people just stuck. Just stuck in this shell, man. You need to stick your head from out of it. Get your head out your ass and start living game. For real, man. Um, all this drama and extra shit. Like, at the end of the day, man, I'm grown. I'm going to speak to who I want to speak to. It's um, a good definition, Miss oh. Dooley. I'm going to do what I want to do. Like, I always have. I've always done shit my way. But uh, I'm not beefing with nobody. I'm not mad at nobody. I don't hate nobody. And I definitely don't get in nobody else's business of what the fuck they got going on in their life because it just don't concern me. It's not a it's not a fact in my life. All right, he's pretty long with it. I just want to say um to alleviate drama cuz you know, believe it or not, I don't like drama. Um I say my piece, say yours, try we can eat some. But to alleviate drama, I am quick to be like yeah, your baby mama was here. You know what I'm saying? I spoke because, nigga, I'm a grown-ass man. I can. You know what I'm saying? She ain't did shit to me. So, I'm just, you know, I'm going to put that out there. Um, Me and Bake got a bottle. She with Bake, baby mama. You know what I'm saying? I just like to cover all corners because I know how it looked and I know how, how I would act if it looked a certain way. But I wouldn't have went off no T-Page. I would have called them about what T-Page said. Like, yo, bro, what the fuck going on with the goddamn? Oh, Hey, yo, nah, nigga, you know what I'm saying? She with bait, goddamn. What the fuck I'm supposed to do? I'm a grown-ass man. I'm supposed to do walk by and not speak, nigga. She ain't did shit to me. Facts. <laughs> Touche. Honestly, I want to make sure you she was straight while, while, you know what I'm saying, you was there. Make sure she good, you know? But anyway, y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.